For an animated short film, the producer and director are creative partners who must work together to ensure the quality of the film, as well as finishing the project on time and on budget. Josh Cooley studied 2D animation in art school and joined Pixar in 2003 as an intern. Mr. Cooley worked his way up to the role of story supervisor on Inside Out, and his next project will be co-directing Toy Story 4. Mark Nielsen earned a degree in journalism and English from Chico State University. Mr. Nielsen joined Pixar Animation Studios in 1996, where he has worked in various roles, including serving as the associate producer on Inside Out. Hi, I'm Josh Cooley. Hi, I'm Mark Nielsen. You're watching Made in Hollywood. And here is a scene from Riley's first date. Is Riley here? Okay, so we're talking about your different positions for Riley's first date and Inside Out. How are they different? Well, on Inside Out, Pete Docter was the director. On Riley's first date, I was the director. Okay. And on um, Inside Out, Jonas Rivera was the producer. On Riley's first date, Mark Nielsen was the producer. How was it decided that after Inside Out, when you started working on Riley's first date, you would direct Riley's first date? So, about a year before we finished Inside Out, Pete Docter and Jonas Rivera came to me and said, do you have any ideas for a short film? And I said, I have a couple ideas. And they said, why don't you just develop some and, and pitch them to us? And so I pitched about two or three ideas, and uh, Riley's first date was one of them. And um, they said, great, why don't you keep going with that and, and you'll direct it. There's a boy in my house. I knew she was going skating, but I thought it was with her friends. Why is there a boy in my house? This isn't a date, is it? I'll ask Riley. My favorite part of Inside Out was they were all the parts where we see the team in this person's head conflict with the team in that person's head and how that affects just within like two people in one scene. And that is what's so awesome about Inside Out. Yes. Yeah, once we hit upon that pretty early in the process, it was like, okay, there's our, there's our movie. There's kind of the juice in the movie. And the way I always thought about it in the movie is like, that's kind of a, like a submarine movie. You know, they're attacking each other as Riley's getting upset. That's it. Go to your room. The foot is down. The foot is down. And with Riley's first date, I, I thought, okay, what if it was the same kind of thing, a submarine movie, but but Jordan has no idea that um, there's even a war going on. So he's just kind of staring off into the distance. But Dad's still like in attack mode. Red alert! Boy. Boy. What are the big steps that you think someone needs to take? If they make that decision, I want to go into animation, What's like the next three steps that they should take in order to get themselves there? Well, it, it's cool. It kind of depends on what they want to do. That's one of the cool things about animation is there's so many different types of people and different types of talents that are brought to it. Whether you're technical and you're a computer scientist or whether you're an artist or like myself, you're a production person. I majored in communication in college. So you can kind of bring the kinds of things you're drawn to and the kinds of things you're interested in and take that and figure out how that fits into filmmaking and pursuing a career in filmmaking. I don't like this. This can't be a date. She's only 12. Let's probe, but layer it with cool words the kids say so it's not obvious. Telling these stories, it's a visual medium. So for me, my background is drawing. I went to school to be an animator. So. If you want to be on the art side of things, it's learning to draw. You can teach yourself to draw. It's just drawing constantly in order to communicate ideas clearly. Once you get into this industry, do you ever feel like you need extra training as you go in order to assist you? Always. I've, mm -hmm. I always feel like I'm, I, I never want to feel like I've learned everything. Cause I, there's no way to do that. And so I'm always studying film and always drawing still. Pixar is a really supportive environment also in terms of education. We have Pixar University which offers classes to the employees uh, to learn different things and different skills and so it's kind of a continuing process of education there. So, what's the dealio with Jordan? OMG, he is awesome sauce, faux cheesy. What advice do you have for any young aspiring story writers or directors? It's all about communicating ideas. So whether you're drawing or writing, it's like what's the story you're trying to tell and what's the clearest way to tell it? That's also entertaining. And then are there any other qualities that you think young people need if they really want to succeed in this business? I think just having a really strong work ethic and being just committed to trying to do what you can uh, to, to work in the industry if that's your passion. I think just kind of following that dream and doing what you can to just work hard and try to get into it. Did she just say faux cheesy? I don't understand, what's happening? Ugh, this is just embarrassing. I can't, I, I can't. Boy, boy, boy.